Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be sharing 10 incredible settings to change on your One UI 7.0 device. These are some incredible settings that most people are not even aware of. So let's dive in and get started right away. I'm talking about things like this menu here, you can activate as part of One UI 7.0. Let's get started. Now, the very first thing you want to talk about is the brand new lock screen notification types. So if I go to my lock screen right now, you can see I am able to have a little dot on the corner that indicates that I do have notifications. So let's see how that works out. You can see that dot over here now, okay, right next to the camera. So let's see how that works real quick. What you do is you go to your settings, all right, and then you scroll down and go into your notifications and then you simply go into lock screen notifications. Let me put this over here for a second. So if I go to my lock screen notifications, you can see we now have the dot option, the icons option, and the cards option. Previously, we only had these two. So if I go to my cards, look at what happens. So if I go to my notifications, if I have any new notification, it's gonna show up as a card, as you can see. Or what I can do is I can go back to that menu and I can do icons, which is also an existing option. So I just want to show you guys all the options. So now I get to see icons. You can see the mail icon, the weather icon. Now, if you want to go full minimalist, you are able to go to the dot. Okay. Now it's all going to show as tiny dots, whether you are on the always on display or if you are in the lock screen, it's just gonna be one dot that indicates you have notifications you can check. Then you can come inside and take a look at them. So that's gonna be your minimalist option, fantastic. The next feature is an incredible hidden feature on the lock screen. So basically you pinch the screen and you go into wallpaper and style. Once you are there, you tap here to customize your lock screen. Now I do wanna show you something really cool. You may or may not know this, but if you tap on the clock, you are able to access certain clock faces that are in fact animated like this one right here, okay? Now when I change the size of this, look at what happens. So I'm gonna go over here, lock the screen, and now I'm gonna wake it up, and you can see I get that animation. So some of these watch clock faces do have animations, which is great. But let's do go back over here and show you the other technique. There is an incredible hidden feature. You need to activate this. So add widgets, okay? And then scroll down and go over to the voice recorder widget, which is gonna be right here. Tap on it, okay? And simply add one of these widgets. Doesn't matter which one. I like this one, boom. It just takes two slots of space. Now look at this. Now look at this. I'm gonna tap on done, all right? And now, let's say I was at a meeting or in a classroom, I wanna quickly record something, and my phone is just sitting on the table like this, all I do is double tap and tap on the icon, and it starts to record that voice. This is incredible, okay? And it continues doing that, even in the, in the uh, always on display, at least you get what is going on. And then if I double tap over here and tap on stop, it just stops the recording, and of course, it's gonna save that in my voice recorder application uh, right over here. So you can see that voice recording is right over here. This is absolutely fantastic. Also, it's a nice little spy feature if you just have to record something in a pinch and you just wanna do it without anybody noticing. You just tap here, tap, starts recording. Fantastic, guys. All right, let's move on to the next tactic. Now let's talk about this one since it's been hanging out on the corner here. Now this is a brand new menu. I'm gonna exit out first and let me show you what's happening. So if I launch an application and let's say I turn that application into a pop-up view. So pop-up view and let's say this is for multitasking. I can move this around. Let's say I minimize this and put it to the side. With One UI 7.0, we get beautiful grouping together. So if I bring another application, let's just use three applications as an example. Pop up, boom, minimize. It goes and gets bundled on the corner. Let me do one more, okay, just for demonstration. Uh, over here, pop up, boom, there we go. So I can actually create a window of tools I need to use any 
given time. And I can just have them floating on the screen like this. It could be calculator, calendar, maybe a finance application bundled together. This is great, okay? And of course, if I wanna launch any one of these, boom, it launches as a pop-up. So when I minimize it, it goes back into that little bundle. And if I wanna bring all applications to the forefront, I can tap on this button and all three windows are here now, okay? As you can see, and I can do what I want with them. Fantastic, let's move on. Now let's talk about the always on display. There's something really incredible going on here. Now you all know about the now bar, so I'm gonna to go to my settings, I'm gonna go over to my uh, now bar under lock screen and AOD. This is the now bar and you know about this. We have all these options. So just to show you guys what it is, uh, let's just say I wanna play some music, let's play something and then I get my now bar on the top. If I tap it, it expands. If I have multiple now bars, let's bring that in real quick. Now I have a timer, so now I have multiple now bars and look at this, okay? I can flick between these guys, so that's great. But we can go one step further and a lot of people that have not noticed this. So if I go into my always on display right here, I can activate the now bar, okay? So look at this, now the music is playing. I'm gonna cancel this. Let's just have the music, okay? So look at this, it's gonna to go to the always on display, which is this one right here. The problem is the always on display is locked. So when you press it, nothing happens, okay? So if I double tap, I can pause music, play music. But if I have the always on display, and if I tap, nothing happens. Actually, there's a way to do it. All you do is double tap, okay? So double tap, look at that, it paused. Double tap, it played. Okay, so you don't have to interrupt your always on display if it's just sitting on the table, you gotta pause something. So that's incredible that I can access the music player even from the always on display. Fantastic, let's go to the next tactic. Now the next thing that you wanna do is one of my favorite features. I'm gonna grab this application uh, folder right here. I'm gonna put it right here. And with One UI 7.0, you have these incredible enlarged folders. Boom, you get the enlargement. Press and hold, boom, you can shrink them. Now here's what I like. If I have to access an application in a regular folder, I tap and I go inside, okay? Tap on this one. I don't like that, it's a two-step process. When I have them expanded or enlarged, I can tap on an application that I wanna launch, it launches it right away, alrighty? That is fantastic. Now, one more thing with the enlarged folders, if you wanna change the color of an enlarged folder, look at this. Uh, if I shrink it, all I do is tap and change the color, okay, no problem. But with the enlarged folder, the problem is when you tap, it launches the application. So all you do is you actually tap the three dots at the bottom to get the same color differentiator, uh, uh, selector, I mean, right over here, and that's what we have. Fantastic, guys. Guys, remember, when you pull down your notifications panel or your quick toggles like this, you can swipe between the quick toggles and the notifications, just like that, okay? So if I put my hand on the music player, don't let go, swipe over, I got it, okay? And same thing, empty area, swipe right back into the control panel. In the control panel, look at this. We have these sliders here. Now, here's the funny part. I can press and hold here, it'll take me into the dark mode settings. That's because that's the button, that's the dark mode button. And also if I press and hold here, it'll take me to the sounds and vibration menu. However, there's one more thing you can do. Now, if I actually press and hold on the sliders, I get a different menu. So for brightness, I have all these options, adaptive, extra, adaptive, color, tone, okay? And for the, um, for the volume, by the way, you just saw, to go back, you swipe backwards. And if you press and hold on the volume, you get access to your Dolby Atmos, your equalizer, and your loudness normalization if your phone is equipped with that option. You can see I can change it right here. That is fantastic, okay? Tap, fantastic. And of course, we have this one. As always, you can tap on details to go inside. Okay, but do understand that pressing and holding the icon and the slider 
does two separate things. And of course, you can press and hold on any one of these guys to go into the detailed settings for that particular toggle. Fantastic. Let's move on. Now the vertical app drawer is back. So if I go to my apps, you can see I have my vertical drawer. On the side, there is a little bar that shows up when you touch the screen right here. It's going to disappear when I'm not touching it. That is going to allow you to go up and down quickly. Let me just grab that to a particular letter, as you can see. Alrighty, just so you know, it disappears when you don't touch it. If you don't have the vertical drawer, you tap over here, you tap on sort, you go from custom order, which is the old way, to the vertical, right here, alphabetical. So alphabetical gets you the vertical drawer, everything is sorted alphabetically, fantastic. All right, so those are some amazing One UI 7.0 settings you want to change ASAP. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. Have a fantastic day.